So in the last video, I introduced Baldi's Basics 2, or as I've now decided to name it, Seven Notebooks. And since that announcement, the reactions have been mixed. There was a recent revival thanks to the remastered version, though I think your Baldi would be better at haunting my dreams. And since that video released, I thought I'd make another. You know, totally not because it shot my view count sky high or anything. Anyway gamers, enjoy the video. So first I had to fix this stupid ass door system because it just simply no worky. Nope. Now I mentioned in the last video how researching for hours got me nowhere, so what did I do? I researched for hours, and guess what? After seven hours of tireless forum hunting, I finally gave up on a door and lock system. I managed to get the door working, but the lock just didn't work for whatever reason, and it was either spend seven millennia fixing that or just move on. And like I said in the last video, now this game has occasional spikes of search, but right now it looks like it's destined to crash anytime soon, so we have to finish this game quickly. Now next I decided to make the notebook system, you know, to actually make it a game. Uh, that also no worky, and so at this point I am genuinely contemplating quitting it all, moving to Spain, reinventing myself as a bartender or a cocktail waitress. But then I remembered this comment, and I made it my mission to haunt Solemn TV's nightmares the best I damn well could. And to add to the flames of determination, Ethan Gould joined in the mix as well. Thank you Ethan, you have saved this video! And so after taking matters into my own hands, and realising I'm a dum-dum who forgot to connect a node, we had a working notebook collection system. And I also made the notebooks go spinny. So after that nightmare of a week, I figured I'd get back to basics <laughs> and make a screen that simply displays the amount of notebooks you have and oh my god there's so much code does this say zero why, why does it fade out the stamina widget at the same time why does it take so much code to fixed it now the stamina and the notebook collection widgets are separate and working independently the notebook collection widget actually broke again but find out about that later on in the video now after spending the last few days racking my brain to code when I didn't actually know how to I decided I'd get back to what I know best world design and so I spent an entire day binging Mr. Hands and resized all the tables and chairs because they were a little bit off. <laughs> it's like my height. And so after placing a trillion high poly nanite tables and chairs, whilst resizing and rotating, placing, adding collision and fine details, and hey, nobody cares, but wow, look at the pretty map. So now is where the video gets intense, and I need you all to sit down because I'm about to take you on a journey. Maths, addition, coding, all intertwined with each other, but putting them together, you say? Easy, you say? Well, easy, you may think. So now I needed to make a simple addition game, just like in Baldi's Basics, where getting the answer right would earn you a quarter, and getting it wrong, <laughs> well... We know what happens then. Uh -oh. The internet, Google, Unreal Engine, all concepts I was used to. But it turns out, Googling how to make a simple edition game on the world's most advanced game engine isn't apparently viable because no one is using such a high level software to do it until now. So now I knew I was on my own. I had to use all the knowledge I'd learned, all I'd done, all this time led up to this moment. Project Daydream, Lincoln top right. Project Boldy, all to teach me coding so I could do this. It was hard, very hard, very, very, very hard. Very extreme. Okay, but on a reel, this took me fucking ages. But the idea was to get a random integer creator and set the values it creates as a variable. I would then have those variables displayed in a text box in a widget, which opens after you get transported to a new level after clicking E on a notebook. It would then add these variables and save it as a new variable called answer. And if what you write in the editable text box wasn't equal to answer, Boldy comes, the doors unlock, the lights go red, and hell unleashes. But if you answer right, then it's happy days. And after trying that, thinking I'd gotten so close to perfecting it. It didn't work. Luckily, it was just me being a fuckwit as per usual, and I forgot to call the code. Thank you, Unreal Engine community. And so, after that little hiccup, we were in business. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the collectible system broke again, and that was basically from the game teleporting you to the new level once you press E on a notebook. Now, the problem is, that was also the same key you pressed to spawn the collectible score, and after trying everything I could think of, it just didn't work. But it's fine, because after weeks of work, I finally have a working shell of a game for my first indie game, developed on Unreal Engine 5, 7 Notebooks. Till the next video, everyone.